and Melia has left the party, but Ricky has stayed. I think I would rather have it the other way, but maybe that's just me. Ricky's a lot of fun, though. I tease him, though. All right, so we have one. Uh, it went fairly quickly there. Uh, I guess we'll just uh, head up for the time being. Uh, where we want to go is all the way up to the Prophecy Hut, which is on the seventh floor. While we're here, we can look up at the mysterious floating pond once more. That's why it's mysterious, and it's a sanctuary. Just out of curiosity, can I see this one now? Is that the trigger? That was the trigger! Alright, so in the optional part, I was having trouble getting this one to show up. Uh, it's because I needed to actually witness that last cutscene uh, before I could actually see that one. All right, moving on. Now, don't I have to go down and around? Yeah, down and around from here. And we can see Melia again. Melia, what will you do now? I would like to repay you for your help. Permit me to act as your guide to Aerith Sea. Of course, we'd love you to. But I must warn you, Arid Sea is vast. Do you know where you wish to go? There's a dark tower at the head of the Bionis. I saw it in a vision. That's where I must go. A dark tower? Then we need not search at all. So you've heard of it? Heard of it? I have seen it. A dark tower at the head of the Bionis. Only one place fits that description. So you know it. I believe what you saw was Prison Island. Prison Island? Dixon said the same thing. Indeed. Melia, have you ever been there? I have not set foot upon the island, but I know of it. Prison Island is sealed. No one may enter without Imperial Sanction. Imperial Sanction, eh? That means we'll be needing someone to grant us entry. I've heard that Aerith Sea is home to an empire ruled by the High Entia. They might be our best chance. You are knowledgeable for a Homs. Sanctions? Empires? Anyone help here? Oh, a sanction is permission from someone important. An empire must be a place ruled by an emperor. In other words, we need an emperor's permission to enter the island. This emperor, is he important? Long before we Homs built the colonies, a group of so-called royal types, or imperials, ruled our lands. Think of them like the heads of our colony, but with much greater influence and power. Now I get it. Dumban knows more than a textbook. Are you kidding? That's first year Homs history, Ryan. I might have slept through that class. So when do we get to meet these high end tier folks? You are so... Oh, forget it. First, we must travel to the Imperial capital. We'll see how easy it is to see this Emperor. My promise was to be your guide. I will not break it. Melia, isn't that the... The shortcut to Aerith Sea. Yes. And to really nobody's surprise, Melia has rejoined the party. She seems to like us, all right? All right, so now that the party is back and complete, let's quickly go over the art setup that I have and what I have been working on, uh, at least off screen. I haven't actually upgraded anything since the last time, but there is what it is now, or at least since the last optional part. Pretty much focusing on a few things here and there for all of our characters. Ooh, thunder. I think that is new for Dunban, actually. A pulse attacks enemies behind. If used with an aura, force his stage. So it actually hits enemies behind him. It's kind of phrased a little weird, but that is what they are going for. Not necessarily my favorite thing because it hits enemies behind, but it does do quite a bit of damage if memory serves me correctly. Yeah, it is a significant amount of damage, but it's also got a huge cooldown and you got to be facing the other way. And if I'm not controlling him, then I don't trust that that's going to work. Uh, with Charlotte, it's pretty much just spam heals as much as I can. Did she just learn headshot? Is that relatively new? That is new because I like headshot. When did you learn headshot? A critical hit, inflicting instant death on enemies suffering days. All right, we'll put that on instead of 
Actually, no, 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 that's not what I want to do. We'll put that on instead of Metal Blast because I feel like it's better because it's red instead of purple. It's kind of hard to see, but there, there is a difference there. There's Aura Bullet. Yeah, we might level up uh, Headshot eventually. I, I am a big fan of Headshot. Uh, Ricky, we're still waiting on quite a few things for you. Yeah, he doesn't have them yet. But that is the setup so far. And then Ryan, no real surprises there. Pretty much been what I've been working on for a while now. Although, Anchor Chain. Mm. There's a few things that I feel like have been learned here. Yeah, Anchor Chain is something that I do care about. So, yeah, when did we learn these? Um, also, Lariat. Deal damage to multiple enemies in front of Ryan. Uh, does quite a bit of damage. I prefer War Swing, but Lariat's better in certain situations. But usually with Ryan, he gets surrounded, in my experience. But Lariat can be good. Anchor Chain, though, or that prevents knockback, blowdown, and aggro reduction. Increases enemy aggro over time, prevents aggro loss from damage. This thing is pretty good. So we're going to put that on instead of... No, Shield Bash I like. Aura Burst I like, Bone Upper, definitely, Hammer Beat, Wild Down, Sword Drive? It's probably going to be Sword Drive, isn't it? It's good, but look at the cooldown. I get to use it once, and that's pretty much it. You know what? Let's get rid of Berserker. Just get, just get rid of the other one, and then we're, we're moving on. Oh, and then uh, Melia. Right. Uh, Melia, I pretty much maxed out the things that I like which is Bolt, Flare, Spear Break, Copy, uh, and Burst End. Although she does have Mind Blast now. That can be good. Release internal strength to seal enemy arts. So it can be useful in certain situations, but it's only available in Element Burst. So when her talent gauge is full is the only time that I can really do that. So there's that. What did that actually replace? Either way, we're moving on. We're moving on. Let's take a look at the skill trees. I haven't done too much work, but, uh, you know, Shulk did get quite a bit. So he's still working on Epic Evasion. Increases chance of burst affinity after evasion. That can be good, especially when we're trying to get affinity between people. We got a whole new skill branch for him uh, with Dunban. Oh, he did learn it. Whole bunch of stuff happened off screen. Well, not necessarily off screen, but when they didn't tell me. So we have Twin Swords and Mind of the Warrior. Uh, we're going to go with Twin Swords. Double attack is good. We just learned uh, Tension after Battle Start Affinity, which is nice. And one extra point there. With uh, Charla, we are still lear learning Always Ready. With Ricky, he is now still learning. Learning all the time. I want more AP. Ryan is working on Spoils of War. Once again, AP. And Melia is working on Serenity of Water, even though it's not necessarily the best. Uh, skill links are pretty much what you would expect. Let's just move on. We are ready to go. We have the Aerith Sea to conquer. So let's go to Contemplation Terrace. And here we can talk to... No, it's not, it's not Barry Jamie. It's the transport guide. We're ready to go. He can send you to Erisee in a flash of light. Are you ready to go? They act like this is a really huge deal, but it's not really just, you know, just a quick check. You sure you want to go? Let's go. Let's head to the Erisee. Friends, jumping bull! <laughs> All go to Eris! Jump? In that? You're nuts, Furball! You have nothing to fear! This will take us to Eris Sea.
and the game asks me if I want to save my current progress? The answer to that is always going to be yes. Always. Uh, we'll put it down here. This is my last one there. As you can see, we've hit the 50 hour mark and it still doesn't feel like the game's really opened up yet. We're getting close, but not quite. Real close. Let's head to the Aris Sea. Eventually. Who would have thought Erith Sea was right on top of Ricky's village? Dive deep enough, you can reach their tree. Perhaps you should try. Might do. Haven't decided yet. Is something wrong? Aren't you curious? About why we're going to Prison Island, I mean. It is not common for Homs to visit this region. You may have good reason, but forgive me. I do not pry into other people's business. It's definitely bugging her, Shulk. How, how dare you, you clown? It's okay, Melia. We're not strangers anymore. Well, I... <sighs> you're right. So then you'll listen to our story? Yes. Tell me why you were here. Basically, it all started when... I see. I had heard about the Mechon assault on the lower regions, but did not know the situation was so grave. How lucky we are. Hey, what's that? Is that? You are looking at Prison Island. So that's Prison Island? Yes. And that is the Imperial capital, Alchemoth. It's not just me, right? A floating city is a bit weird. Built with superior defenses in mind. Incredible. What technology makes this possible? I do not know, and I've never had the need to. You don't know? It doesn't freak you out? You can eat bread without knowing how to bake it. Makes sense to me. You will need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Okay. We will travel to the capital first. And how do you expect us to get up there? Fly? There is a transporter up ahead. We can use that. We've been deep sea diving. Now we're gonna fly. This place gives me the creeps. But I guess we don't have a choice. Right. Onwards to the capital. Still. What is it, Dunban? It's a sight to behold. Those look like anti mechon defense systems. And we've made it to the Latale Shore. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I wanted to talk about about that, uh, but probably the most obvious is that we happen to come here during shooting stars. This is a weather thing that I'm going to have to change because some dangerous enemies come out when they're shooting stars. Uh, but those are shooting stars. So uh, let's go ahead and make it, you know, day so that I don't die uh, because I'm a big fan of living. Even though... Oh, it's midnight, so... Ah, let's make it nine. Oh, now it's raining! Uh, uh. So there are some difficult enemies out when it rains, too. A uh, whole new set of collectibles, as I'm sure you might imagine. I would r Ooh, sea frog. I would rather just, uh... Stick with some of the easier stuff for now, though. Uh, Cruise Pagool! As you can see, this guy can take a hit. Do I get the one in the back? I was kind of hoping to. Really Good job, everyone. Let's stay alert. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, there's the first cruise pagool down. Get some rotten meat out of them. Sure, that's good. Uh, we have some lunars. Lunar Grady's. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. Okay, let's see All right, hit him there. Quick. No, come over. I don't have time for small fry. Maybe. Maybe they'll come over. Well, Charlie can hit him. That's something. It's one of the reasons I don't like the ocean fighting. You know, fighting in the water like this. Alright, go for the Monado Buster, which should get both of them, I think. Well, got him. More affinity is always nice. Yeah, this is, a, this is a thunderstorm, which is another weather pattern, actually, that I need to change. Um, we're not getting too lucky with the weather. Well, actually, we're getting really lucky with the weather. It's just that this is not the time. Uh, we will have to make it those times again later. There we go. Regular day. That is what I like to see. So up there, we can see an Aerith Hiln. The enemy's weak. Now, hopefully, Sharla will attack it eventually. Okay. Let's sort this out nice there we go. You gotta get real close to range for, for Shulk to be able to hit it still. Okay, let's get going. We will get going. Alright, a Jagged Tail, hooray. Uh, there are also Aluka over here. Perna Aluka in particular. What? No. I wanted to do that. There we go. Hitting the wrong button all day today. I don't, I don't think we need a chain attack. I think we'll be fine. Kind of curious why you're not able to hold aggro right now. I'm pretty much just auto attacking. We make a great team. We somehow managed to survive. I wonder how we did that. But we get some murky aluka water out of that. Uh, so our real goal is up there. So we might as well head up. We took out a few new enemies, got a few new things along the way. Uh, now, what I actually want... No. No. Is that just a hill? I didn't quite catch it. Main cat. Just pick up the cat, it'll be fine. Yeah, those are just flowers. They look like enemies, though, from a distance. Just giant flowers. All right, our main goal is that teleporter. Now, you can swim all the way around Aerith Sea. I would not recommend that. I have done it. Uh, it took me, I believe, somewhere between 40 minutes and an hour uh, just to swim across, around. Just to swim all the way around. Let's take a look at the map so I can show you what I mean. Uh, here we are on the tail shore. You can swim all the way around Aerith Sea. And there are a couple locations that will show up because of that, but really you're gonna wanna look at a map and just swim straight for them. There's really not too much of a point to swimming all the way around. But if we step in the teleporter, we can make it to the hovering reef, the first hovering reef of very, very many. Oh, we got Turbulent Belmo here. Let's go ahead and take him on. But don't drop your guard. Since we're here, you know, we might as well. And it's unique monster time, taking on Green Belmo. Should be easy enough, especially considering I brought essentially my unique monster killing team with me. Oh, get behind him. There we go. Over 22,000 damage. He still lives, though. He's quite strong. Almost. We almost got him. Why why are you guys not focusing on him? Magnificent attack. Guess I gotta try harder. Everyone, let's go! Oh, did we get oh we got a nebula. Alright, I think I can deal with a nebula. Come on, turn, keep on turning, there we go. Go for the buster. 
It's hard to do a lot with the party that I have. So he might... Oh, no! Nicely done! And we got another level, so we got an affinity coin there. Squall Element! Really? I think that's really good and I need that. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be super useful. Alright, let's see what the unique monster gave us. We got ourselves a hill and hill hill coin purse. I don't know why, but hill is somehow hard to say. Aerith legging, serpent gear, and an iron wall nasher. That's a weapon for Ricky 